Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing from Adiba, and here's my post fight review for Andy Cruz vs Juan Carlos Burgos. And this was a good professional debut. Going into this fight, there were some doubts and questions in regard to how well Cruz's skills as an amateur would translate to professionals. Things such as power, punch resistance, stamina, and fighting under pressure were the main questions critics had for Andy Cruz. But those questions were answered last night because Cruz put on a great performance in his professional debut. Based on his Olympic pedigree, most people expect Cruz to be a dominant force in professional rankings, and his complete domination over Burgos reinforces this idea. I saw many good things last night. Cruz was known in the Olympics and amateurs for having a high ring IQ, speed and accuracy, footwork and defense, and all of that was displayed last night. He was really sharp with his offense and very elusive with his defense. He displayed a very fast and consistent jab along with feints that allowed him to land quick and accurate combinations with his right hand especially the overhand right being the most effective punch for him. His footwork allowed him to move in and out of range, create angles, and switch stances smoothly. A perfect example of the famous Cuban footwork. And Cruz's defense was on point and he displayed all five types of defense blocking, pairing, head movement, footwork, and clinching. I was most impressed by the tight guard that Andy had throughout the whole night. And Cruz was also very comfortable in the pocket and fighting on the inside, which is something that you don't usually see with Cuban fighters coming out of the amateurs. It shows that he has trust and confidence in his defense and offensive abilities without the fear of getting hit. And also shows that he's very capable of picking up and learning new things. However, I was most impressed by his conditioning. He went all 10 rounds on his pro debut and was never visibly tired or gassed. He looked very comfortable and confident and even got stronger throughout the rounds. It truly shows that he's ready to take on the top competition at lightweight already. Despite the performance, there are some things that he'll need to work on such as sitting down on his punches to generate more power and I would like him to attack the body more. But we also have to keep in mind that Andy isn't 100% proven yet. We don't know how durable he is, how he responds to adversity, and against different types of styles. Burgos is a veteran and has been around the block. He's challenged for the title three times and has fought guys like Keyshawn Davis, Devin Haney, and Mike Garcia. And none of those guys were able to stop Burgos. He was a good opponent for Cruz, especially since this fight can be used as a benchmark against Keyshawn Davis. However, we will need to see how Cruz does against a younger, more skilled opponent. The question is, what's the next move for Andy Cruz? Since he's already fighting 10 rounds, Cruz will be fast-tracked. His competition will only get better from here, so he has to develop fast. I believe that Boise Ennis and that team will get Cruz right. But an interesting thing that Greg Hackett brought up is that we might not see a lot of KOs from Andy because he's not going to get those developmental fights that are tailor made for KO wins, which makes perfect sense. It's harder to knock somebody out at the highest levels. The lightweight stable of Matchroom is not that deep, but I'm guessing that Cruz's next opponent will either be Jojo Diaz, Marcitio Hesta, Javier Fortuna, or Jorge Linares. William Zapata and Floyd Schofield could also be potential opponents for Andy Cruz, but both of them are signed to Golden Boy, but they also fight on the zone, which could definitely be a fight they could make. However, I don't think that Oscar De La Hoya will take those risks with those guys. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing from Adiba, hit like, subscribe, and more content coming your way.